morning, fellow winner peeps. I am Scarab, your Scarabic Enterprises. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful time. Let me know what you're doing in the comments. And today, we're playing 20 Minutes Till Dawn, a game by Flan. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I'm sorry if I butchered it. Anyway, uh, this game is, from what I've seen on Steam, kind of appears to be a bullet hell roguelike akin to maybe vampire survivors but it looks a little bit more uh graphically enhanced than that so I'm, I'm really curious to see what this uh what this game is going to be it's recently released um i'm recording this on the 12th i think it came out on the 6th of june let's play oh oh there's lots of characters okay we need to unlock these guys oh yes i love that okay so it is like vampire survivors when it comes to that at least because there's a shit ton of characters you can play in vampire survivors so uh, i think that that's going to be my closest direct comparison um because i've got i've got a game on mobile actually that is fairly simple like it, it's straight up w wants to rip off vampire survivors it's got the green gems and everything uh it's called survivor.io so if anyone's interested in a game that you can play on your phone that is essentially vampire survivors survivor.io uh but i am really into those types of games i've got one that is based like a spaceship style game as well which i might play on the channel a little later on but uh i don't know i, I bought this the other day and i thought that this would be pretty cool so um i don't know if you collect gems or anything in this maybe it just counts as your kills and you don't have to collect them afterwards or whatever but it, it's going to from what I've seen on Steam, it is going to be pretty brutal. So let's have a look. Shana! Shana! Shai Uh, HP form. <laughs> oh my god, my throat did a thing. HP form can reroll upgrades once per level. One of my runes. Oh, so this. Yeah, okay. So this is like the perma upgrades. Okay. Well, I don't think we need to worry about these right now. I don't think we have enough. Uh, I don't think we have anything at the moment. All right, so sword and shield. Interesting. So there's different types of characters. I think this one's a gun character, so a revolver. All right. Um, but maybe each character has their own... Because it looks like, yeah, every character has their own, like, unique um, stuff that you can unlock. So we start with a revolver, which is something I'm not happy with. Um, so let's play until we get better, I guess. I think this game might also be a good game to stream... If I, don't, if I don't make it very far in this episode, I'm probably going to stream this game. I'm going to move this down because I forgot to do it at the start of the episode. Shh, don't tell anyone. Forest, temple, pumpkin patch. Oh, look at these cthulhu -y type monsters. So the goal is to survive 20 minutes. I believe I could probably do that. I wish that this was uh, controller friendly though. Apparently it has partial controller support, but I don't know. I'm not game enough to give it a try yet, even though my controller is plugged in. I don't know, can I? Oh, 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 it is. Okay, okay. Well, I don't know how the special ability, do I have one? I don't have one, all right. So they do drop orbs. Okay, so this is very similar to Vampire Survivors then. It's, it's definitely in the same genre. Oh, take aim, all right. I wanna know if you can do this with a controller. Um, Okay, so yeah, all right. It said uh, on the Steam page that I had partial controller support, so maybe maybe I'm just insane or something, but um, it looks like there's more than that. All right, pyro, mage, aero, magic, magnetism, magic spear. I'm just gonna move my, my mouse off the screen just for now. Um, take aim, so bullet speed and spread is, spread is minus 15. So that's um, faster and more accurate. Summon two magic spears that deal 20 damage, pick up range. Oh, okay, so these, yeah, yeah, this is, this is essentially like a Cthulhu dark version of Vampire Survivors. Pyro Mage, your bullets have a 50% chance to inflict burn and for three damage per second. I reckon that'd be good for the long run, but I don't think I need it right now. I think that um, shooting spears or something would be, would be very beneficial. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. All right, so I move slower when I am uh, shooting, which is good to know. Oh, hi there, how you doing? All right, so yeah, revolver only has six bullets. That's another reason why I hate revolvers in general. Like I fired them in real life. I fired revolvers. Um, that, like, yeah, okay, they're a cool firearm. They're, 
does what they're designed to do and they're reliable, but I don't like the look of them, I don't like the feel of them, and I don't like the limited ammo. <laughs> uh, summon attack speed. Magic spear deals more, so that's upgrading the holy, holy spear. Okay. Uh, dodge. Evasive. Dodge plus 20. I didn't... Oh, that could be handy. Dark Arts. Your bullets have a 35% chance to inflict curse. Curse deals damage equal to 200% of your bullet damage. Yes! That's awesome! Um, take aim. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna have to go with Dark Arts. That's pretty neat. Neato Burrito. Alright. So the spears are very strange. They're kind of like the, um, they're kind of like a bit more of a accurate boomerang because they, you know, they, they, they stab and then they come back, right? Oh, wow. Okay. So when you get hit, you've got like a little burst that, that happens and it gets enemies away from you. That's, that's cool. Uh, I've seen many games do that in the past, but I've never seen one in this genre do that before. So that's pretty neat. Summon the magic lens that give all bullets that pass through at 30% damage and size. Oh, oh, so this might be a thing that rotates around my character and I have to shoot through it to, to do extra damage. Uh, Pyro mage, holy arts, after shooting your last ammo, smite nearby enemies for 20. That's pretty cool. Um, that, that, that's actually going to be really handy for, like, considering I've got a revolver with limited ammo. Double shot. Projectiles plus 1, spread plus 10, bullet damage minus 10. Alright, well, yeah, I think I'll do the smite for now. Yep. Definitely handy. Definitely handy. Alright. Dark Arts is working. Uh, I think um, the spears might activate it too. No, just shots. Okay. Um, oh, 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 they got, they got boomers. I don't like boomers. <laughs> I just realized what I said. Uh, no, I, I don't have a problem with boomers. Um, magic spears. Si oh, magic sights. Summon a magic sight that deals 40 damage. Um, yeah, no, I like that. With our enemies inflicted with curse, take more damage. Soul drain. Every 500th enemy killed by a summon drops a soul heart. That's neat, but I think the magic scythe is awesome. Um, so let's go with that for now. Um, oh my god, the scythe is like the holy bible in uh, in Vampire Survivors. Look, I don't really have any other comparisons that I can make, so it's it's just a darker version of Vampire Survivors. It's what Vampire Survivors could have been in terms of atmosphere, at least, you know what I mean? This is really cool. I, I, I think I might play this game a lot. Uh, this is definitely up my alley. Curse damage is increased by an additional 100%. Uh, holy Shield protects you from damage once. The Holy Shield regenerates in two minutes after breaking. Well, that that's handy. I reckon if you upgrade that, it'll probably um, give you a couple more hits before breaking, or maybe le regenerate in less time. Trainer, summon damage? Summon damage? I can summon things? Or is that like for my scythe and stuff? Power shot, bullet damage, knockback, uh, vitality, max HP. Um, bullet damage and knockback sounds great. But, yeah, I'll do that. Alright, so I'm playing this now with a controller. Um, uh, Xbox Series X controller, and it works just fine. So if anyone wants to buy this game, there is going to be a link in my description of this video. Um, so it should say, play this game! That's usually what I put it under. So uh, if you guys want it, uh, it's there. And it's really cheap. I picked this game up for like $6 Australian, and I think at full price it's 7 Like, it, it is really cheap. I have no idea why they would make a game this awesome and make it this cheap. Uh, Splinter, enemies explode into three bullets when killed. That's neat. Ghost friend, summon a ghost friend that rapidly shoots projectiles for eight, eight damage. Oh, that's gonna be like the birds maybe? Um, Pyro mage, your bullets have a 50% chance to inflict burn. Holy my, okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with Splinter. I'm just gonna stay still for a bit. And collect all my all my XP. Yes! Level up! Level up! Come on! There we go. 
dragon egg that will hatch into a dragon in three minutes. If I can survive three minutes, I could have a dragon. I'm gonna do that. I'm not even looking at the other things. I want a dragon. Oh wait, do I have to protect the dragon egg? I might have to protect the dragon egg. Oh, I didn't think this far ahead. Um, um. Also, I keep thinking I need to shoot the dragon egg because it looks like a uh, enemy or something. I'm like, there's something close to me and I'm scared. Oh, oh. Okay, all right. Get the broom. Yep, there we go. All right. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I, fa I found a boss. Um, uh, error magic. Electro mage. Pyro mage. I think the pyro mage would be good. Yeah, I'm gonna do pyro mage because I'm I'm at a boss right now. I want to do some um, some damage over time uh, because they have a lot of HP, and if you damage them over time, eventually they die. There we go. All right. Quick learner. Increase experience gained by forty percent. Yeah, I'll take it. Why do you even give me an option to leave it? That's so silly. Why would I not take that? Oh, hang on, I think I know. Because if that's if that's like a, an upgrade like this, it might take up a slot that you can't use later on. All right, that could be it. On every second shot, call down lightning. I do like lightning strike as a, uh, as, as, as a move in general. Usually it's very powerful. Uh, magic lens, uh, in, intense burn, burn damage. Uh, wind cutter, all right. Scythes do fire rate. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna increase fire rate. And the reason for that is because when I run out of ammo, every time I run out of ammo, I do a pulse for 20 damage. So this is going to increase the number of pulses I do. There we go. It's also a little bit more uh, satisfying. <laughs> Oh, ow! No, I died! I didn't get to see the dragon! No, I didn't get to see the dragon! Well, these things are getting stuck on trees. Okay, so I get hit. I just realized in the top left corner there is my ammo and my health. So I, I, I get hit two more times and I'm dead. I didn't realize that that's how HP worked in this. I was wondering why I had four HP, but uh, okay. So this is this is a bit different. Uh, you don't have a bar of health. You just have a certain amount of hits until you die. I'm gonna just straight up grab the dragon egg, even though I don't think I'm going to win. Ow! All right, one more hit and I'm dead. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Probably not. Grab him, grab him, grab him. Oh, I could really use something better than this. This is terrible. This is terrible, terrible. I'm not a fan of revolvers. Um, Pyromage. Soul shield. Gain a soul heart every 90 seconds. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna need health. Oh, the boomers. Let me shoot the boomers. Okay, that sounds bad. <laughs> I, I don't want to kill anyone in particular. Oh god. Oh, I died. All right. Let's let's try that again. Now that I know how the health system works is going to be a little better. All right. I'm going to work on damage. The best way to go through these games is oh shit, I accidentally exited to the main menu. The best way to go through these games is 100% Oh, hang on a second. I could have a shotgun. I'm going to unlock the shotgun. <laughs> All right, uh, the best way to play these games is to be incredibly aggressive. What you want is you want some, uh, like the scythes, you want to be surrounded by stuff that can help you. Um, and so if you've got, uh, if you've got something that is surrounding your body at all times, and then you are using very, very aggressive, um, like magics or attacks, then you can deal maximum damage and anything that gets close to you also gets hurt. So that way, uh, I'm gonna go double shot just for now. I don't know what, what difference that made, but okay. 
So if I have something that's surrounding my body that can damage enemies, then nothing can get close to me. And if nothing can get close to me, I can concentrate on things that are a little bit more, a um, little bit more brutal. Like leveling up specific abilities and stuff. Because you, you want, ooh, you want to have uh, a character that is able to penetrate through heaps of enemies at once. You want to have area of effect damage, you want to have uh, targeted damage as well. So then that way you can cleave yourself a path when you are completely surrounded. Um, Alright, so let's go with haste and fire rate would be good. Magic spear, that was very handy. I'm going to go with magic spear. Oh, did the fucking tree just hit me? Stupid tree? How do I get rid of the tree? I'm definitely dealing damage to it, but I don't know how it's... Okay. Can I kill the tree? Stupid tree. Oh god. Ooh. Uh, summon attack speed would be good. Dragon Egg. Take aim. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Dragon Egg. Because I, I want to survive. I want to find an ability that lets me regenerate a heart um, every now and then. I also, I don't want to move too far away from my spawning point because I don't know if there's like chests or anything in this outside of like when you defeat a boss. Um, because if there's if there's anything like crates or chests or anything breakable that um, that has like items inside, I, I don't actually, I, I haven't come across them yet. Um, also, with these types of games, they evolve as you play it. So the more that you play it, the more things become available. Um, so I think I'm, I might be maybe too early. I'm, I'm too too ahead of the game to actually think about, oh, hang on, I'm limited with this. Like, uh, right now I only have these abilities. I haven't unlocked the others. I haven't unlocked the other characters. Like, I, I, I'm thinking way too, way too deep into it. I need to just concentrate on what I currently have and what I can currently do. Vision range, 25%. All enemies within your vision range take 15 damage every one second. What? Okay. Oh. Holy shit. I, vision range is like the garlic in, uh, I keep, I keep going back to Vampire Survivors, but it's like garlic. It's, um, I am surrounded by a protective, um, protective glow. This is exactly what I want. This is the type of thing that I need. All right. So enemies take damage if they're close to me. Um, that's, that's exactly what I was talking about before. So if we can get the scythe on top of this, this is going to be great. Uh, every 500th enemy killed by a summon drops a soul heart. I would like that. Uh, intense glare. Vision range and damage is doubled. <gasps> When shooting your last ammo, also shoot 10 additional bullets in a circle around for 15 damage. That's awesome, but I want the intense clear. We need to level this up because um, it's going to come in handy uh, pretty soon. So everything that's trying to get near me right now is, is killing itself, essentially. Oh my god, yes, I want the scythe. Um, yep, scythe it is. Alright, dragon egg should uh, hatch pretty soon. Because I think it's been nearly two minutes. That's all I care about at the moment is the dragon. I've been given it three times. I, wa I want to know what's going on with the dragon. All right, ghost friend, Cicade? What's this? Oh, this is this is my um, my vision range and the glare. Okay, so occurs twice as often. Oh my god, yes, I want that. Uh, vitality max one HP. That would come in handy as well. Holy arts after shooting your last ammo smite. Oh yeah, that would be incredibly handy right now. Because I've got a shotgun, so bang, bang, smash, bang, bang, smash, bang, bang, smash. Yep. So I am, if I just hold this down, I am always going to have area of effect damage around me. I want to kill this goddamn tree. Yep. 
All right, right now I think I've got a good combo. I reckon I can last for a little while. Your dragon gains 10% attack speed every 60 seconds. This ability works even if your dragon is still in the egg. All right. Hey boss, how you doing? Nice. Three halo pieces um, can now appear as upgrade choices. Collect all three to recover Shana's halo. I have no freaking idea what that is, but we need to go for the halo, I guess? If that's what we need to do. How do I kill this goddamn tree? Aged dragon. Your dragon gains 15 damage every... Yeah, I mean, I do want to do that, but... 10 extra damage for every HP you currently have. Ah, oh, okay. Which is not bad, but I I, I want to upgrade my dragon. Because I feel like it's it's gonna it's gonna hatch anytime anytime now, right? It's supposed to. Please don't be bugged out. Alright, I'm just gonna stay here. We're about to level up. Here we go. Halo piece. Dragon bond. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the halo piece because I, I want to collect that. I don't know what the halo does, um, but that's the beauty of these games. You find out what abilities and stuff work and um, how to get them. And then you can unlock things as time goes on. I just took some damage, god damn it! Oh no 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 no! All right, I I am being reckless. Oh, dragon! Oh, all right. Dragon is fire breath. It's pretty neat. I do like my dragon. This is a darker turn for how to train your dragon. Wind cutter. Hang on. All right, good. Yeah, I want the scythe. I'm taking damage. I need to not take damage, because that's dumb. Okay, so the dragon sets things on fire. They take t uh, damage over time, which is good. Um, might not be exactly what I wanted out of the dragon, but I mean... Look, if you don't experiment, you don't find out what's going to happen next. So, oh god. I am all about discovery when it comes to these games. Oh my god, that is a boss of some sort. Um, uh, I mean, I would like Soul Heart or something. But right now, I think we need summon attack speed or... Yeah, I'm going to go with Soul Shield. Just for now. Oh, that is, that's a fast. Yeah, this thing's gonna kill me. I'm running away. Oh, I don't like that. It'd be really nice if it stopped doing that. Oh God. Oh, I died. Oh my God. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. We gotta keep going until we win. We can unlock different characters. Start with high HP. You know what? Let's start with a different character. Um, Alright, so that, it looks like their uh, abilities are unique, but the guns or the, the weapons are uh, the same. Oh, that's awesome! So every three shots does this, so uh, the faster we shoot, the more likely we are to, um, to send, uh, the more often we are to send these um, little fire waves. That's neat. I like this character. This character's cool. Uh, Dragon Egg Holy Shield? Uh, 
summon a ghost friend that rapidly shoots projectiles. I'm gonna do the ghost friend for now. That's not rapidly. It's slower than my revolver. All right. So we only have three health with this character, but it looks like we have a better chance of survival with our ability. All right. So summon attack speed, um, pick up range, reload rate and fire rate. That would be good. Yeah, I'm going to do the reload and fire rate. Nice, nice, nice. Man, I love the atmosphere in this game. It's really cool. Like, I just love, um, like, horror in general, but, like, just the deep purples of the ground, the really... Oh, God! <laughs> I don't like being surrounded like this! The ominous green of the trees and everything. Like, it's, it's a nice aesthetic for this type of game. Um, where everything else has been really colourful, this game sort of dulls it down, but makes it a lot more atmospheric. Uh, magnetism, haste, move speed and fire rate. I'll do that. Because right now I'm in trouble. Right, through there. Oh, I'm glad that I'm able to do this with a controller because I would be lost if I was doing this on mouse and keyboard. Uh, double shot, projectiles plus one, spread plus ten, uh, holy arts, after shooting your last ammo smite, pick up range 50, gale of wind, I'm gonna go with gale of wind because I've, I've never tried it, so let's give it a go and see what happens, okay, so it's, we, we send out, uh, we send out random, hurricanes or something. I'm gonna go with rapid fire. Oh man, I really need that glare. If I don't get glare, I'm, I think I'm screwed. I need something that can protect me. Or the scythe, even. I'd be happy. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Ghost Friend's attack speed is increased by your fire rate. That would be good, but I want the scythe. Thank you. Uh, I really need to concentrate on the uh, the explodey dudes because they are messing me up. They're the reason I've died so many times. Because um, they have an explosion radius and if I let them too close and they get killed by something uh, like my scythe for example, uh, I still take damage. <sighs> glare. I would like glare. Rubber bullets, bullet bounce. Alright, we'll go with glare. Oh, pardon me. We're going with glare. All right. Now let's expand our glare as best we can and rely on my skills as a gamer. I know, we're all doomed. But if we can rely on my skills as a gamer just to get the damage out into the bosses and to the explodey dudes, then we should be fine. So I don't really need to concentrate on the others, I just need to concentrate on that. Intense glare, there we go. Yep. Gain 10% fire rate every time she inflicts burn. The buff resets on reload. I don't know, I guess.
I mean, I'm setting everything on fire in general, so I guess it's pretty good. Alright, level up. Move speed, inflict burn on nearby enemies as you run. More often, the faster you move. Wind cutter. I'm gonna definitely level up my magic side. My favorite abilities in uh, these types of games are ones that surround your character, like the scythe, and also glare, anything that just gives uh, damage to enemies that are close by. So, because this way you can just stay in one spot and then everything dies around you. But I do need to concentrate on making sure the, the explodey dudes do not sneak up on me. With everything comes risk. Run and gun. Walk speed 100%? Oh, that- oh, for when I'm firing. Yeah, that'd be great. Actually, yeah. I'll take that. Oh my god, yes. Oh, I am no longer slowed down by, by attacking. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I am, but, but it's, <laughs> it's so much better. It is so much better now. Alright. This game is really fucking cool. I'm going to play this to death. I mean, don't get me wrong, Vampire Survivors is still good, but this feels and looks incredible. I can't wait to see what else this game has to offer. I just want to see if I can make, you know, one 20 minute run. You know what I mean? I just want to make it to one 20 minute run. Shadow Blade. Magic Scythe inf inflicts curse. Ah! Oh. Armed and ready. Double shot. Holy shield. I'm going to go with the uh, Shadow Blade. I haven't bothered re rolling any abilities yet. Oh god, it's this thing. No. Kill it. Kill it. Oh god, that's so close. Ooh! Kill it. Oh my god. Ah, oh, don't tell me it died outside the bounds. I don't know how to fix this. Scythe mastery? Mastery? <laughs> Scythe mastery? Uh, light bullets, holy arts, magnetism, rubber bullets. Damage is increased by the bonuses to your bullet damage. I just want to increase my scythe damage in general. I really want what that thing dropped. I'm still stuck in this border thing. Oh, there it is. All right, go, 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 go. Let's go. Get the thing. Okay, Tome of Wind. All damage is increased by bonuses to your move speed. Damage dealt is decreased by 15%. Well, my move speed is good, so... Uh, Tome of Rage. Fire rate, spread, bullet damage, not back. I don't like that. Increase burn damage, lightning damage, and freeze duration. I think I'll take that instead. I don't want to have anything be a minus to my, uh, to my overall damage output. Even if I do have, like, a lot of uh, movement speed and everything else that will be better. What the fuck is going on? What is that? I feel like if that hits me, I'm dead. I'm trying not to worry about that. Oh, now I got hit. I got hit. Maybe a lot more careful now. Oh, the eyes are shooting shit at me. God damn it. Uh, best friends. Let's get this little dude to shoot more. God. Yeah, I gotta kill the eyes. Got it. There's another one down there. I 
feel like all of these trees are bad. Are they all bad? Yep, they're all bad. Well, that's terrifying. Um, power shot, bullet damage, and knockback. I would like that. Though, lightning would definitely come in handy. Uh, I want bullet damage. Got it. I wonder if we're going to get uh, little nodes that give us extra XP. That would be nice. Maybe not yet. Oh! Wait, what just killed me? What just- what just killed me? Oh, come on!